everybody this is Neil Feiler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message this time for the time between the 17th or 18th of September to the 27th of September 2021 this is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all of us all zodiac signs and we're heading into an energetic peak as we're heading to the full moon on the 2020 first depending where you are on earth this is a very strong full moon in Pisces it's a double whammy Pisces because it's a Full moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, in Pisces. So, a lot of Pisces there and it's opposed, of course, by the Sun as every full moon and Mars, the planet of male energy. So, indeed, uh, a full moon that is <coughs> all about struggle. Struggle between our own past and the great, the vast, the public, the uh, immaculate and indescribable the uncontrollable and unforeseen definitely a time that we could feel how uncertainty has risen its ugly head again and we need to adapt and 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 step forward and sometimes we have the power to do it and sometimes we just feel like we want to recoil into a dreamland of some sort nevertheless there are many other things happening at this in the sky as this full moon at the 28th degree of Pisces is shining um, Furthermore, you know, as we're heading to the 20th, we have the Sun trining Pluto on the 17th and Venus, planet of relationships, squaring the great uh, judge Saturn. So the Sun trining Pluto is really all about intensifying our inner power through development, through transformation, through unveiling who we are and why we act in a certain way and really transforming and developing, evolving, uh, if you will. Of course, when we talk about Venus, we're talking about relationships, relationships with ourselves, our self-esteem, relationships with everything of value in our lives, with the material plane and money and everything that we could offer, and then relationships with other people and what they can offer us. And of course, intimate relationships are prime, but any kind of relationships count. And when they, that planet squares Saturn, we are faced with the so-ness, as you know, one says in Zen Buddhism, of things. They are so. And we, we need to acknowledge reality, in a sense. And sometimes this means disruptions in relationships and even breakdown in relationships of all sorts. Um, or with our jobs, you know, or sometimes we look at ourselves very harshly and see something we didn't want to see. And then just three days later, you know, the 20th, in that full moon, Venus Quincox Chiron that's either a rapture or a healing you know that's either facing the things that need to be expelled that need to be purified from our lives and actually peeling them off and bravely walking into the wilderness to seek another well of <coughs> pure sweet water in a sense or you know just healing healing what wasn't apt what wasn't up to par, what didn't cut it before, and actually making it something that, you know, sweetens that water, that takes away the salinity and purifies it. So it's either about purifying and, and, and cleansing and healing those kinds of relationships we have with ourselves and money and with others, or actually moving away from them. You know, that's also a way of pur purification. And then on the 23rd, Venus is opposed by Uranus, planet of changes, you know, so that's definitely a time of changes and status. It's a great time to meet new people, but it's also a time of separation. So Venus is going through quite a lot in the next couple of days, and of course will be affected personally and publicly by that as well. Um, so with that full moon, I said a couple of more things are happening in the sky. Planet of communications, Mercury, in commerce and our near environment, you know, in our thinking and words, is trying by Jupiter, the great enlight uh, uh, enlighter, if you will, you know, an expander. And this is definitely a time for great ideas. It's a good time to meet new people and expand who we know it's a great time you know to have 
philosophical conversations or to learn new things and um, sail away on on the you know waves of information and expand our universe in a sense and of course because this is happening in a full moon this is stronger than usual um, on the 23rd as I said Venus is opposed by Uranus and again depends where you are on earth between the 22nd and 23rd we are having the fall or spring equinox it's a time that daylight is equal to the night time all over the earth and we are on the same plane of the Sun and from today on the northern hemisphere days are gonna grow shorter on the southern hemisphere they're gonna grow longer this has been considered in any culture, in any religion, in any tradition, in any age, a magical time. A time that we could connect, focus, and indeed transcend certain barriers that we've had before. This is a great time for a personal ceremony. Be your language, whatever it may be. You know, maybe you like to light a candle and say a few words. Maybe you just want to meditate maybe you want to go outside to nature you know depends on you whatever it is you know getting in touch with the sacred within without any third paroxy like me or anyone else is important at that time and actually thinking of what you would like this season to be we're heading into fall and winter on the northern hemisphere spring and summer in the southern hemisphere. 23rd itself could be, you know, a more challenging day. The 22nd as well, you know, Mercury is squared by Pluto. It gives it a very psychological, introspective kind of vibe this year. Uh, and, you know, also when I look at the sky, the minute that the Sun moves into Libra which is the fall equinox in the northern hemisphere it's not going to be an easy pleasant and, and tranquil season it's very psychologically introspective a lot of transformation and you know challenging challenging also personally emotionally and challenging also communally but I do believe that this would be a time of cleansing, that this would be a time of renewal, and that this would be a time of straightening for all of us, in a sense. And great wisdom. We're doing giant leaps at the moment, really giant leaps. I mean, the energy is rising like crazy. And as we're heading into the 25th, we have Mars, planet of energy, trining Saturn, and that's going to give us much more as a much more strategic and adult and responsible way of dealing with our energies and wants and needs and cravings much less impulsive and more considering and um, of course we're heading into the mercury retrograde on the 27th and we're deep in its shadow already <clears throat> so all of these mercury transits that we're experiencing are going to come back like Mercury squaring Pluto and that we're experiencing exactly this week so I want to remind you this 35% off because of the Delta strain October 1st prices are going up so if you want a reading or a private lesson or a course this is the time to reach me I want to thank you for listening and sharing this is Nia Filer may we all live long and prosper bye bye